chemistry topic that is the first uh, lesson synthetic fibers so now in chemistry the second lesson that is for coal and petroleum so we are familiar with the two terms for coal and petroleum so there are two terms in are around earth or maybe so earth it's an consist of plants living organism abiotic biotic etc so in total earth if you take so there is a one it is a main reservoir of some of the things for example natural resources the resources which is available in nature is for natural resources it is divided into two types one is for inexhaustible natural resources the resources which are unlimited it is a mainly reserved in the nature itself so if we use again and again it can use any time so there is an example it is called sunlight and air and still many more exhaustible the word so it is in a limited and the resources which is limited in the earth are in nature it is called exhaustible resources so exhaustible resources the examples are forest wildlife minerals coal petroleum natural gas etc so in our textbook for example from this lesson coal and petroleum the three topics are a skip that is i already have studied in seven already have studied in fifth related coal and petrol and petrol refinery so that's why only one topic is remain in that lesson that is nothing but natural gas so but still in exhaustible resources that is sunlight a sun is a major resources present in the natural resources that is in exhaustible if you are in an activity so if you are using again and again also it will be remain in the earth that is called the reserve exhaustible by human activity it is depleting day by day it is less in amount once it will deplete never it takes billions of years for example forest wildlife so already we have studied the lesson called conservation of forest so if there is no tree so what are the uh, threat for the human being we learned already related wildlife minerals coal petroleum and natural gas so in exhaustible in the exhaustible and exhaustible exhaustible resources like a uh, coal petroleum and natural gas because we are studying coal and petroleum so coal how the coal will form for example it takes billions of years for example think there is a land or a thick forest in a huge area so maybe because of flood or maybe earthquake etc these are buried under the earth surface think all the plants they buried under the earth surface for billions years later each soil will deposit one layer after the other so it will be compressed in the deep layer of the earth and all these are dead plants there is nothing but it will convert in a high pressure to a substance that is called the coal a coal is a hard material so if you take a coal it is a consist of three main components so we can do that three components we can produce that is called coal tar coal gas and coal these are the three materials from the uh, thing or from a substance called the coal so it is in hard in structure black in structure that is nothing but coal so if you come to petroleum coal petroleum and natural gas it is one related to another so we are studying petroleum and natural gas but only for you to study the natural gas topic so now in petroleum so i'll explain the petroleum and natural gas through a small imaginary diagram natural gas we are studying the topic for billions of years ago especially so in the on the earth surface for example all the plant will die including algae and aquatic organism inside the water so they settle in the a deep layer of the sea so what will happen each year after year so it will settle in the deep layer of the sea or ocean after that so in the especially the rock in between so it will deposit in the rock so when all the plant for example algae or microorganism animals all it will 
dye settle in the bottom so when it will be in a high pressure if it will be compressed for example thing or it will dye here so that there is a high pressure and high temperature so the temperature will be very high and high pressure both brings each layer near so when it will come very compressed or near so there is a separation of water oil and gas so when these all algae microorganism animals so all it will die in water in aquatic especially in sea so or maybe now the land surface here in the sea so all the three layers will be separated so for example water the low layer the next one is called the reservoir rock reservoir or reservoir rock so above this the oil will deposit and then above oil level the reason secretion or reservation of the gas so first water oil gas when all these uh, dead organisms will deposit with a high temperature and high pressure they will be compressed so it will convert into an gas so that's why it is called compressed compressed natural gas so we can call it as compressed natural gas what is natural gas so the natural gas to billions of years later so all the algae microorganism everything will die in aquatic source so it will deposit in the bottom layer and then in between the rock we have heard about like coal here the high pressure and high temperature so all these will convert into oil and remaining that will convert into an upper layer gas so this is called compressed gas nothing but compressed natural gas it consists of different uh, method especially consists of methane we have liquefied petroleum gas what we are using in our home so that is called lpg consists of propane we are going to study in chemistry in higher section what are the uh, uh, matter or uh, maybe the uh, chemical components so this is a compressed natural gas so how we can detect so using a detector so they will absorb so the laser light and the sound so can detect where there is an presence of natural gas or maybe oil and it will be pumped out by using pipes so heavy pipes will be used so first the gas that is for the natural gas will be or maybe it will be supplied to different area through a huge pipes or the pipelines the second one oil so here the petroleum petroleum consists of petrol and diesel petro rock oleum oil so in between the raw component so there is a secretion of oil because of the death of some organism are compressed in a high temperature and uh, pressure so that is called so these are called the fossil fuels so these fossil fuels used by everywhere especially in gujarat uh, maybe delhi etc all the pipelines the cng why it is used it is a non polluting so non polluting atmosphere that's why we are using and the it reduces the high heat when you are comparing to etc so it gives a high amount of heat also for so in our daily life we are using so maybe in our houses so in especially in kitchen we are using and to produce electricity and also it is used in different vehicles to run different vehicles also we are using compressed natural gas so it is not easily available because it is comes under exhaustible how we are using in a reduced component or maybe if we are using less so that's why only we can preserve because it takes a billions of years to form a natural or compressed natural gas so this is the method so where it will be used so if you observe so all these wells where they are extracting the oil and the gas it is present in our rajasthan or maybe in uh, uh, delhi or tripura etc so many places in india also so we get the oil and the compressed natural gas so all these related the term called natural gas again i advise once how the natural gas will form so after billions 
appears, we go after the death of algae, microorganisms like plants and small animals will die, they will settle at the bottom, in between the rock, it will settle and after that, so if the soil will deposit, it will convert into coal, after the deposition of sand and clay, keep in your mind, sand and clay, so with the high pressure and high temperature, so it will convert into oil and natural gas, that's why we are using, it is a non-polluting fossil fuel, especially natural gas. So if we are using, how we can use in a limited resources, let us study one by one. So now we have studied already what is natural gas, a complex natural gas, how you will get a natural gas or oil. The next one, so if it is limited, so already it is limited in the na nature, so if you use maximum of all the fossil fuels, like if you burn coal, maybe in kitchen or maybe uh, while using, cook, uh, while cooking food etc. or maybe uh, in, especially in uh, to run a train or uh, maybe uh, to produce, for example to run vehicles if you are using petrol, diesel etc. So if you burn all these fossil fuel, first of all it is limited. If you are using in a maximum amount, then they release high amount of carbon dioxide. What will happen in the nature? So if all the fossil fuels will burn in a maximum amount, so it will pollute the air, especially it will increase the earth atmospheric temperature. So carbon dioxide, it is called greenhouse gas. So when it will increase in atmosphere, so in that suddenly the earth temperature also will rises in temperature. So leads to a term called global warming. What is global warming? Global warming is increasing in earth temperature. So the earth temperature will increase day by day by day. So that is nothing but increasing in a high temperature from the earth's surface leads to a term called global warming. How it is possible? So it is because of if you burn a fossil fuels like coal, petrol, diesel, uh, etc., natural gas, etc., especially coal and petroleum. If you burn, so it will pollute the entire atmosphere. So it leads to a global warming and maybe it affects the acid rain, everything, and it will threat human being also. So all it will affect negatively. So if I use or uh, if I reduce the use of all these fossil fuels, I can save because to get a petroleum or uh, maybe to get, to get oil or uh, maybe natural gas, it takes billions of years. So all these wells, whatever it is present, for example oil and petrol, it will remain for only 100 years. After that what will happen? So that we have to think and you have to proceed according to that. Now at present, so Petroleum Conservation Research Association established in the year 1978. The short form is PCRA, Petroleum Conservation Research Association. It is established in India related to the sale or to reduce whatever limited resources are present. First one, according to this, drive at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible. The reason? If you drive your vehicle in a constant and moderate speed, so then we can uh, reduce the use of little fuel and we are saving fossil fuels. The second one, switch off the engine at traffic signals and wherever you are using. So then you have to switch off the engine because if you run the engine, so still if you uh, switched on, then automatically the, we are releasing the unburned or maybe the fossil fuel smoke. So that is nothing but carbon dioxide. So all these, that's why you have to switch off the engine and traffic uh, lights. Ensure correct tire pressure. So what is the term? To ensure or check the correct tire pressure. There will be in uh, each uh, vehicle, every vehicle there will be a tire pressure. So they keep some number for each vehicle, they give the number according to that only you have to maintain. Otherwise, it will entirely, it will affect the balance of the stable in vehicles. So vehicles is balanced by the uh, tire. So if it will be the pressure, everything will be proper, the total 
the thing will be weaker with the tiger it is an in a stable otherwise so it also affects a causal fear the ensure regular maintenance of the vehicle so if it will be for example unburned in completely burned a fossil fuel leads to the pollution air pollution etc so or maybe the engine is not proper it will emit only high amount of carbon dioxide so it leads to global warming so that's why so we have to maintain the vehicles whatever we are having so that's why in that so there are the different types at present there is an emission test to our vehicles all these will leads to or it is a just a small step towards so the saving of fossil fuels are the limited resources like exhaustible natural resources so you have studied already in your previous class of school coke coal tar petrol a petroleum now we are studying so that is called nothing but petroleum conservation research association we have completed natural gas this is a two question so can i prepare a natural gas coal petroleum in our laboratory no because it is a slow process it takes billions of years the for the formation of coal petroleum and natural gas so that's why we cannot prepare we cannot produce in our lab so that is the one question and petroleum petro means raw oleum so that's the word both the two words oil so they deposit under the rock surface so that's the word given for petroleum so we have completed a chapter called coal and petroleum